Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures of Well Um Me, and today I am so excited. It is currently like quarter past twelve or something in the morning, uh, Friday the 3rd of March, and I have just picked up my Nintendo Switch um, from uh, the shops uh, at the midnight launch. Going to be doing an unboxing, and um, one thing I want to do is a bit of a size comparison between what the Switch tablet with the um, the Joy-Cons on the side and just the Switch tablet by itself is, compared to, uh, say, 3DS or the Wii U Game Tab, the Wii Remote, and an A4 um, standard piece of paper. Um, just to give you an idea, because uh, I haven't seen a lot of uh, reviews so far for like the pre-release reviews where they've actually compared it to those type of things. Um, I've mainly just seen them holding it in their hands, and everyone's hands are different. I've got small hands, so... Um, it'll look different in my hands compared to someone else. So I thought we'll go through that, let's unbox it, and then we'll, I'll give you some close-up images um, of everything else that's on there. Uh, but this is the uh, box here. I mean, I'm just excited. This box is really small. Um, like, that's, I think, the shocking thing about it. Like, it's a really small box. Um, so I'm not going to do, like, a full, I'm not going to do a review. For starters, I'm going to just have a look at everything and let you know uh, what you get in the box. But, man, this Switch, it, this is tiny. Like, this <laughs> this is tiny. That's the console that I've just pulled out. That is tiny. I, <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm, like, flustered. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, and Joy-Cons. So I'll pull all this out. Don't want to misplace anything here. No, in case I've got a... Uh, Stuff like this important safety information uh, that's just going to sit over there. That can be read later. But we'll get everything else out of here and we'll take a look. I mean, the good thing is that it does come with an HDMI cable, which is ever so important when you uh, get a new console because otherwise you run out of cables. Um, but this is everything out of the box now, so we'll unwrap it and uh, get into it. Um, I won't be doing any gameplay footage in this video, this is literally just an unboxing and we'll go through it all and I'll do uh, maybe a gameplay review later on for something like uh, Zelda. Probably a review rather than um, a full let's play. But we'll get everything out. I just I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm like, I feel, <laughs> I feel hot and sweaty but it's just like excitement, like it's nice and cool outside. <laughs> Um, I'll mention one thing which I don't have in the video. I did purchase a second AC adapter, so that way I can have uh, this one plugged into the um, actual base that you connect it to the TV with. Um, so I don't have to unplug that if I say take the like the actual Switch console with me. Um, because that's like that's the thing. I was thinking about it. I didn't have it, and I just asked them. I was like, can I also get one of those? Because what if I happen to go, say, like, my parents' house, and I take it to play with my, um, my brothers? Like, it'll run out of battery really quick if, like, everyone's playing it. So, wow, this, I'm just so excited. We'll go through the exact console in a minute. Um, first off, let's have a look here. We've got our Joy-Cons. Now, they're small but they actually feel really good in the hand. Like, in all honesty, these, for at least my hand, like, if you look, it fits perfectly for my hand. I've got, like, the perfect grip around it. Um, the buttons, uh, where am I? The buttons here and down here. So, the like, the D-pad buttons and the X, Y, A, B buttons. They're smaller than you're used to. Um, they're, I believe, the same size as the... Actually, they're slightly smaller than the new 3DS XL. Uh, the buttons there. But, like, just in comparison, that's the size of the controller, that's a 3DS XL. Like, <laughs> there's that. Um, you know, these these controllers are pretty small, but just wait until I show you the console. That's uh, next to it, there's a Wii Remote there. Like, but that actually feels good in the hand. I can see that it might feel weird getting used to like the joystick layout, but it feels really good. 
and it was just, yeah, just getting a little bit um, used to these buttons, but I think with a little bit of practice it'll, it'll be awesome. Um, so these have symbols on here, so these, this one's got the minus symbol, I believe that goes with this minus one here, um, you slide, now I'm confused, <laughs> no, I confused myself. Is that right? No, I've stuffed that up, I think. I was going to say, that's going to be one thing that's probably a little bit confusing. That's better. There you go, so you've got the plus and minus, they link in like that, and that adds the little extra buttons on the side here, um, which are here, they're just tiny buttons here. So you've got these buttons compared to these big ones here, and these have the straps and all that. That's alright, and you've got the um, sensor indicator and all that, that's cool. Like, it just adds that little bit extra to the hand. Just that tiny little bit that you need. But we'll keep those off. I won't be using those now. Um, we also have the uh, clip controller thing that it comes with it. And you slide these into here. Oh, it's got a really nice click sound. That's kind of important. You know it's clicked in, it makes a click. I don't know if you will uh, hear that properly. But, let's try. So it clicks in there nice and firm. Um, that's a weird kind of shape to hold, but I'm excited to see how it works. Um, I feel like it's something you just have to get used to, and once you're used to it, it'll be fine. Uh, the Pro Controller does look like it's a little bit more ergonomic than this, but I don't see this being bad as a controller. I see that it'll just, really, it'll just take a little bit to get used to the actual controller itself. But we'll take those out again, because we're going to have to show you on the actual switch itself. So I'll set that to the side. You get your AC adapter uh, with the Type-C USB here. New thing there uh, for the console. Gonna have to get used to it. Um, all accessories I guess are gonna now be coming with the Type-C USB which is what the MacBook Pro now uses, the new MacBook Pro. So Apple users um, from now on will kind of be going towards that anyway, so if you're keeping up with current technology, current generations of things, you'll be fine. Anyone else, you're just going to have to get used to it and hope that they provide them with any accessories that need it. Uh, you get your HDMI cable, like I was saying, absolutely awesome. You get the Switch, like, TV dock itself, which is pretty small. Like, it clips into this, that's it. It's pretty small. Um, you've got two USB ports on the side here, and then on the back here, this flicks down. And you've got an extra uh, USB port, HDMI out, and the AC adapter all tucked in here, and you can fit it into this slot here, which is absolutely awesome. Keeps it nice and tidy on your um, on your like TV stand. Um, from like preview reviews, I heard a lot of people complaining that you can't fit it horizontally, and I was just thinking when I was watching them. If you've got it sitting horizontally, you're going to be pushing something and you're just constantly going to be pushing your console back. I mean, like, it doesn't take up that much space. Like, I've got my Wii U gamepad on a stand that I keep on my, um, my, like, TV cabinet. Look at this. The gamepad is bigger. And I just turned the gamepad off, but, <laughs> um, like, like, that's the thing. It's not that big, it doesn't take up much space. But this is the main thing here, this is the part that everyone is waiting to see. The Nintendo Switch itself. Like, this is tiny. You got the back here, which has its little kickstand. Um, I've heard that that can be dangerous, it can pop off really easy. Um, it's got the slides on both sides here, I'm really looking forward to how, seeing how this all connects. Two speakers on the back. Uh, you got your game card slot on the top here, which is tiny. It is smaller than a 3DS game card, which I do have one here. What, we, what were we playing last? We were playing Xenoblade Chronicles. But, if you look here, it's much smaller card, which is kind of impressive. Like, they get the entire game on that. Man. I mean, of course there's going to be, like, downloads and updates and patches and all that, but that's awesome. you got your uh, headphone jack here. Um, looks like an air ventilation thing. 
volume, plus minus, and a power button here. I'm not going to be turning it on just yet, I'm saving that for a minute. Um, what I will do though, I'm going to line these up and I'm going to give you the comparison on the, um, with A4 piece of paper, the 3DS is both XL and the uh, normal 3DS, the Wii Remote and the gamepad. Just show you what it looks like um, and we'll go from there and then I'll wrap this up. So, bear with me one second. Alright, so we're going to go handheld here, but look at this. So, we have the gamepad there next to all of the other parts here. I mean, you can definitely see, this is pretty much the size of a 3DS XL, the new 3DS XL. Look at that, it is tiny. It is the tiniest tablet that I've ever seen. And like, that's the A4 piece of paper behind it. You can line the three, my three consoles up there. That's awesome. But I just can't believe it. it's mu like, relatively smaller than the, uh, the Wii gamepad here. I mean, let's just do this for comparison. It is pretty much the size of the screen here. Like, it is pretty much that size. That is amazing. I'm just going to chuck on the Joy-Cons. So here we go again, this time with the Joy-Cons attached to the side there. I mean, again, you got the A4 piece of paper behind it. It then becomes pretty much the same width as the uh, Wii U gamepad, but man, it is much thinner. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at the Nintendo Switch. I mean, this console is just amazing. See it there. I am so excited to, to get this going and play it. Uh, Breath of the Wild, so Zelda, and some of the other games that are going to be coming out. I'm really excited. And I'll give you a review of the uh, some of the games in action uh, later on. But there is that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. Also, consider subscribing if you want to see more content coming your way. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I know you can see me in the reflection there. Anyway, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you next time.